Hello, welcome back to A Quick Look, a pop culture show where I'll be taking you through the biggest headlines, entertainment and current events. I'm Zoe Jewell and today we are finally discussing the 2024 Super Bowl, Taylor Swift's attendance, the after parties, and yes, that Taylor Swift TikTok heard round the world. Let's jump right in because there is so much to talk about today. So many pieces to unpack. Let's jump right in. First things first, as all of us know, the Chiefs beat the 49ers in overtime to win the 2024 Super Bowl. As I've mentioned before, I am a Chiefs fan. So this has been a really unbelievable week, weekend for me. I genuinely can't believe it. I think like most of the world that watched that game wasn't looking good for the Chiefs for a large part of it, but never doubt Patrick Mahomes, <laughs> never doubt his ability to come back from a 10 point deficit to win a Super Bowl. He's done it now three times in a row, or not in a row, I suppose, but three times. Crazy, crazy game. But you're not coming to us for me to unpack the actual football game. You're coming to me to discuss everything that happened off the field. We will get into Taylor Swift. I just have to mention Usher and the halftime performance, which I thought was sensational. Genuinely one of the best halftime shows I've ever seen. And I have to give a special shout out to the roller skates because the fact that Usher was brave enough to get on roller skates and do choreography with skates on, high degree of difficulty, he was incredible. Loved every bit of it. Brava, Usher. Great, great, great job. Okay, let's get to Taylor Swift. Because as we talked about last week, she made the trek from Tokyo, Japan, where she had just wrapped up four consecutive shows, made it back to Las Vegas in time to watch her boyfriend, Travis Kelsey, and the Chiefs play in the Super Bowl. We were wondering who is she going to bring to this game because she's brought a lot of her friends along, famous friends, over the course of, well, the whole season, but really the last handful of weeks with the playoffs. And she brought some familiar faces, but she also brought some people we haven't seen in a while. One among them, Blake Lively. Blake Lively came with, with Taylor. Blake went to the um, Chiefs Jets game that happened back in September of last year. But she she made the, the, the trip to be there in support of, of her friend. I'm sure it was a stressful experience for Taylor, and she probably really loved having a close friend with her throughout the whole, the whole thing. Um, she also brought along Ice Spice, her collaborator, her, her, her pal. This was Ice Spice's first game, as far as I can remember. So that was kind of a, f a fun new addition. Lana Del Rey happened to be there as well. Uh, I'm not exactly sure if Lana was there with Taylor or if she like happened to be there and then saw Taylor and then they watched together. Um, Taylor also brought, of course, her family, her parents, her brother, Travis's whole family was there, his friends. It was truly, genuinely a family affair. Everyone there in attendance to watch the game. Now, if you are a Chiefs fan, you know that for a large part of that game, it was very stressful. It wasn't going so well for the Chiefs. And every time they would cut to, to Taylor in the suite, she was looking very nervous, picking her nail. Just her face was just one of like, I'm anxious, I'm stressed, and I don't know how to deal with it. And honestly, relatable because I felt the same way. And there's something very humanizing about seeing a celebrity who is worth billion dollars, one of the most famous people in the world, who's having the exact same emotional experience that you are having, made me feel very connected to, to Taylor Swift. Obviously ended well for the Chiefs, right? Last minute game winning touchdown to seal the deal. And when they cut to that suite, they were going insane. And I've seen many angles of the celebration in the suite. I mean, people were like pushing each other down, falling all over the place. It was chaos, utter and pure chaos. And I loved every second of it. Seeing Taylor so excited, all of her friends, the family jumping up and down. So incredible. She obviously makes it down to the field 
um, with Donna, Travis's mother, and Jason came down as well to celebrate the big win, to be down there for the trophy ceremony. Um, and again, just seeing Taylor Swift on a football field, embracing Travis, hugging, kissing, like, what world are we living in? It is genuinely, it's, it's still shocking. It still blows my mind. I can't believe how far we've come in like the last year. Again, if, if you would have told me last year after the Chiefs won against the Eagles, next year, you're not only going to win this game again, but you're also going to have Taylor Swift there rooting on her boyfriend, and she's going to go on the field and hug and kiss him after they win. I would have not believed you. Genuinely, it, it's almost too hard. It's almost too much to fully comprehend. So she's on the field. She's con congratulating Travis. She's also congratulating all the other players too. There's 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 pictures and and clips of her congratulating the punter Tommy Townsend, Nicole Hardman who won the game who 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 caught the game winning uh, touchdown, Harrison Butker the field goal kicker. Like obviously Taylor Swift knows who these players are. She's been watching the Chiefs now for the, basically the entire season. But it, there is just something really crazy about. Taylor Swift, knowing who all of these players are, of course the stars, but then also everybody else in the field. It just, I keep saying it blows my mind, but it, it still does blow my mind. Um, okay, so game ends, and obviously Las Vegas, they're going to go party. So over the course of the, of the last really like 24, 48 hours, we've been gaining, getting a lot of clips, footage, pictures of the Chiefs and Travis and Taylor out in, in Las Vegas partying. First things first, they not they they not only you know danced, sang to one Taylor Swift song, they did it for two. The first was "You Belong with Me." Travis is like in the DJ booth. "You Belong with Me" comes on, and he's like pointing to Taylor. She's kind of like out in the crowd dancing along to her own song. Like that was weird. But then later on in the evening, there's videos and pictures of them dancing and singing to Love Story together. Now, this is obviously crazy because it's Taylor Swift dancing to her own song after her boyfriend wins the Super Bowl. But it's even more crazy because last year, there's video footage of Travis dancing at a club to Love Story after winning that Super Bowl by himself, you know, and then one year later, he's doing the same thing, but Taylor Swift, his girlfriend, like, what? What? It's just, it's a simulation. We are officially in, in, a, in a simulation. I don't even know. I mean, what, what more proof do you need? We are in a simulation. I think we're in my simulation, but we are in one because the fact that all this is happening, I know people joke about the NFL being scripted and, you know, I mean, come on, let's be real. But <laughs> this does make me think, hmm, maybe it is scripted. I don't know. So all the footage, all the videos of, of them partying, Jason Kelsey partying with like the Nacho Libre mask on, all the teammates, Patrick, Brittany, I mean, everyone there. It just, it was crazy. Taylor was having the time of her life, just living it up as, as she should, as they should. I love seeing every single, I've, I've been like on my phone scrolling, watching every single video pop up. Like I just can't get enough. I'm addicted to it. So great. So fun. But honestly, for me, the real, the big piece of content that I, that made my jaw drop, honestly, was Taylor Swift herself posting a TikTok with Travis Kelsey in it. Now, if you missed it, go on TikTok and go watch it now. But basically, the gist of it was Taylor was posting a video about when you accidentally bring your parents to the club because she was joking about how the like after party was like a friends and family of, event, I, I guess. And so she brought her parents along, but it ended up being in like a nightclub, which, you know, you can bring your friends and family to a nightclub, but it's not necessarily a place you're going to want to spend time with like your, your parents, right? Uh, but the... Video starts with the camera on Travis making a face, and then it pans to Taylor's parents, her mom and her dad, and then pans over to Taylor making a face like, oops. Guys, I, for those who are like, why is this a big deal? Taylor Swift, for the last 
six years, has not really shared anything from her personal life, like relationship personal life on social media. Like she just doesn't do that. She does not share her boyfriends on Instagram or she hasn't at least with Joe Allen. She did back with like Calvin Harris, that, that phase of her life. But that was in her mid twenties. She's now in her mid thirties. Like it's a different time of her life. And the fact that she, she posted something with Travis in the video, that's a big deal. That is a big deal, hard launch. And now I am asking Taylor, please, please, please share an Instagram photo dump from the Super Bowl with all your pictures. Cause I know you have so many good pictures and I want to see them. And I would be so appreciative of that. If you could just do that for all of us. I don't know that she will. I don't think she will. Maybe she has by, by, by the time that, that, that this has, has come out, she may have already, you know, given us the gift. Um, but I really want to see that because I'm, I just know she has some amazing photographs that I selfishly want to see. Um, but I, I've been loving all the content. I've been loving all the videos. I just, it's, 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 it's the best. It's crazy that this happened. <laughs> Taylor Swift winning a Super Bowl in her very, very first season as a fan, like could, can only happen to the Taylor Allison Swift. Now Taylor has to jet off to go continue her tour down in Australia. Travis is back in Kansas City getting ready for the parade. I've heard that Travis is going to be joining Taylor on tour. I'm not sure if that's going to be this weekend in Australia or when he's going to get down there, but we will very soon enough see Travis back at the Ares tour, dancing, singing along, supporting Taylor Swift. So when that happens, we'll be back here chatting about it, breaking it all down once again, because the football season might be over, but the Taylor Travis content is not going to end and we're not going to stop talking about it because it's just, it's just too good not to talk about. Let me know in the comments how you felt about everything that happened between Taylor and Travis over the course of the weekend, the game, after parties, everything, what you think is going to happen in the future, the tour, all that stuff. I want to hear everything and we'll see you guys next week. Bye.